great to see everyone out today for Vision 2017. You're, you're excited about the next level, aren't you? Well, have a seat. It's great to have you all here today. Well, there is a big difference. Uh, you can travel through life in many different ways, of course. Uh, bicycle, that, that works. Bicycle works, uh, right? I mean, I could ride to California if I wanted to. No, I could. It'd take 49 days. I calculated it. If I did 50 miles a day, it'd take 49 days, I, I could get there. Or I could take a Ferrari, and I could do it in a day if you, you know. <laughs> Or I could take a jet in four hours. Now, all of those uh, processes will work. If you had a choice, which one would you take? You'd take the fastest, as we said, fastest last night, brother, fastest. Because you got things to get done. Yet so many people are content to ride the bike. Because it's comfortable, it's what they've done, it's how they grew up, it's how they learned how life worked. They were trained on a bike. They're not accustomed to jets. They don't know about jets. They don't know about Ferraris. They've never maybe seen a Ferrari. They just, they have a bike. Well, my goal this weekend is that you <laughs> will take the helmet off, toss the bike to, aside, and jump into the next level. All right? Is that fair? Yes. All right. So you got to have a pencil and paper. We're going to jump into this today. Uh, I wanted to go to Galatians chapter 4 first. Galatians chapter 4, verse uh, number 1. Paul says, what I am saying is that as long as an, the heir is a child, he is no different from a slave. Now catch that. No different than a what? Slave. A slave. Although he owns the whole estate, he has the whole estate legally, he is subject to guardians and trustees till the time set by his father. So also when we were children, we were in slavery under the basic principles of the world. But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law to redeem those under law, that we might receive the full uh, rights of sons. Because you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. So you're no longer a slave, but a son or a daughter. And since you are a son, God has made you a what? An heir of what? The whole estate. How much? How much? the whole estate. You are seated with Christ, with Christ in heavenly places. You have the whole estate. You already have the Ferrari. You already have the jet. You need to abandon the old slavery mentality and step into who you really are. Now, Paul goes on in this chapter, it's pretty amazing, in verse 21, again, talking about this difference of covenants. He says, Tell me, you who want to be under the law, are you not aware of what the law says? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the free woman. His son by the slave woman is born in the what kind of way? Ordinary, Ordinary way. But his son by the free woman is born as a result of a promise. promise. Remember, couldn't have babies. Abraham and Sarah couldn't have babies. So Isaac was born as a result of a promise. Now, to get this picture in your mind, impossible becomes possible when God's involved. These things may be taken figuratively, for the women represent two covenants. One covenant is from Mount Sinai and bears children who are to be slaves. This is Hagar. Now, Hagar stands for Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present city of Jerusalem. Of course, we know that Hagar had Ishmael in what kind of way? The ordinary or the supernatural way? Ordinary way. Uh, 26, but the Jerusalem that is above is free, and she is our mother, for it is written, Be glad, O barren woman, who bears no children. Break forth and cry aloud, you who have no labor pains. The ordinary way. Because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband. Ferraris always beat bicycles. <laughs> now you brothers like Isaac are children of a promise at that time the son born in the ordinary way persecuted the son born by the power of the spirit born as a result of a promise and by the power of the spirit beats bicycles any day now you have that covenant you are that person 
You are in Christ, and you have a new covenant. Now, slaves don't invent things to do, friend. Remember, the Bible says you, even though you own the whole estate, you are acting like a slave. Slaves don't invent things to do. You know what slaves dream about? Friday night, vacation, retirement, when they can finally do something they want to do, right? That's what slaves dream about. They don't dream about doing something else because their nose is to the... Last time you checked, that was looking down, right? Not forward. And so they don't invent anything except trying to find a place to stop and rest. Most people work to stop. I'm going to save enough money so that I can stop, retire. I'm going to save enough money, so whatever. It's all about I'm going to work hard enough so I can finally rest. And so when they rest, that's their goal. They don't create. They don't envision except stopping. With that mindset, you're going to miss life. Life is not that long, and you don't want to miss it. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing, and thanks for watching.